Hello, good evening, and welcome to the 8 p.m. news on Canal de English with me, Annette Fiti Esome. We begin immediately with our lone headline in the news today. Today was commemorated as International Labor Day. Workers in Cameroon celebrated under the theme Social Dialogue, Economic Growth, and National Cohesion. We shall bring you celebrations from some parts of the country as the news unfolds. Happy Workers' Day to all workers in Cameroon as you celebrate your day today. Well, it was a very colorful ceremony this morning at the Yawunda ceremonial ground where the Minister of Labor and Social Security, Gregoire Owona, presided over celebrations marking the 131st International Labor Day. This report with Beatrice Ngamo, who was part of Workers Celebrating. In formal and formal sectors, the attendance was impressive. Workers in the capital city of Cameroon, Yaoundé, for the Labor Day March past celebration at the Yaoundé 20th May Boulevard, the about five hours parade in their different attires, who styles, colors, and touch tales of our happy workers. Workers who, before the Minister of Labor and Social Security, Gregoire Wona, host of ministers, Diplomatic corps and guests are also asking for nothing less than better working conditions, increase in salaries, security of workers, respect of their rights, social dialogue, a peaceful Cameroon amongst many. The same preoccupation raised by the representatives of the different trade unions who spoke on the occasion, enjoying better atmosphere between employers and employees. And so, in the rhythm, of the National Institute of Youth and Sports, National Gendarmerie and Police Bands, the workers in Yawundi filed through, brandishing names of their structures for some, services offered for others, and others, especially in line with this year's theme, the consolidation of social dialogue, a driver for economic growth, link to national cohesion. Well, we are sorry for that hitch. Workers, syndicates, and the littoral have demanded for better working conditions. The medical call today at the Beseke ceremonial ground as a celebrated Labor Day. Well, the March pass was presided over by littoral's governor Samuel Jedone Ivaha Deboa. This report. The 131st edition of the International Labor Day in Douala littoral region began with labor medals given to employees of different enterprises as recognition for several years of services. The labor medals were pinned on their chest by littoral governor Samuel Dredone Ivaha Dibwa under the watchful eyes of administrative authorities, guests and world wishers. During his speech, Governor Samuel Dredone called on workers to contribute to the economic growth of the country. Chicago in the United States of America gave their lives to revalidate good working conditions in 1866. This may therefore went down the annals of history in that year as a day when the revalidation of the most human conditions of work started on the faith workers who asked nothing more but for the reduction of the working day to eight hours per day. Syndicates on their part denounce discrimination, lack of social dialogue between employees and employers, and ask for better working conditions. The traditional march passed at the Beseke ceremonial ground was marked by the presence of over 131 enterprises, namely public and private enterprises, associations, media organs, and political parties. As with long activities, of the 2017 edition of the International Labor Day come to an end, syndicates hope that their demands will be looked upon for better organization for future editions. It was not all that successful Labor Day celebration in Douala as one of the workers who came to celebrate died and many others injured as a result of pushing. Well, over in Bamenda Northwest region, that's the chief town, some 30 enterprises took part into the celebration of the 31st International 
Labor Day. Well, after the match passed, like unlike past years, it is said that the second phase of the day that is normally characterized by heavy whining and dining, unlike the past, today was witnessed in a different mood as celebrations took low key. Over in the southwest region, our correspondent sees workers in FACO Division turn out massively to celebrate their day at the Manga Williams Avenue in Limbe, despite being ghost town. Various workers' syndicates highlighted problems workers or employees in this part of the country do face. In response, the FACO Senior Divisional Officer called on workers to continue in their mission and called on employees as well, on employers as well, to promote social dialogue. We continue with Labor Day celebration. This time around, Canal Day Group was part of manifestations at in Yawundi. They came out massively to celebrate with workers worldwide, as we hear from this report with Beatrice Ngamu. In their well-known outfits, with green background, the Canal 2 group also answered present for the celebration of this year's 131st Labor Day Feast. From the rendezvous point, the office at a to the CZM neighborhood, employees were set for departure, but not without ensuring they are really ready for the day. The takeoff for the 20th May Avenue in front of the Ministry of Transport are site via Sonel Central, the Central Post Office roundabout and before the minister. And accompanying the green, red, yellow flags is the leader, Canal 2 Group. Her five channels greatly spread out in outstanding colors. Canal 2 International, Canal Info, Canal 2 Music, Canal 2 Movies, Canal 2 English, not forgetting TV Plus and Sweet FM. The family was out in number to celebrate like all other workers in the country. The staff representatives we're also in place to ensure the match passed on food smoothly and smoothly all went. After the match passed, time for relaxation, with much still to be done concerning reports on others. Quick the edge, and with some few dancing styles and steps. Reporters had to make it to the office or other ceremonial grounds. Labor Day, time to also ask for more. The 131st International Labor Day, in the eyes, colors, and ambience of Canal 2 International Group. Well, in Douala, it was the same scenario as workers of Group TV Please answered present at the Beseke ceremonial ground this morning to commemorate the 131st edition of Workers' Day. It was a colorful ceremony as they all dressed in the different colors of the fabric. Well, after the match passed, they all met for a family meal where the CEO of the group, Emmanuel Chatry, used the occasion and called on workers to double efforts and to be more professional in their day-to-day -day activity. Well, we continue with workers' this uh, celebration, but this time on a sad note, where in Bafia, it was a bad Labor Day for a young worker who is now between, or he is battling between life and death. He was seriously wounded on this day by his employer for not depositing 3,000 francs his daily quota. He was wounded on the neck with a machete by his employer, who is equally a commercial bike rider. Forces of law and other have intervened or intervened to calm down the situation that was going off hand. Presently, the two are in hospital receiving treatment. We move to something else. Administrative authorities in the Adamawa have created a platform for employed for unemployed youths and enterprises to exchange ideas. More on the story with Laurent Gamini. This young lady, like most youths in the Adamawa region of Cameroon, is unemployed. She has submitted her application in several enterprises, but the answers have almost always been the same, negative. Demain, après demain, c'est toujours ça les difficultés du travail. Et tu 
Most employees always say, come today, come tomorrow, or day after next, but still nothing. All these constitute difficulties in getting a job. I am presently here for an appointment and will be received within 15 minutes. In order to stem the high rate of unemployment, local authorities have created a platform that will bring together the unemployed youth, public and private enterprises. In the plan of the government, the initiated platform will facilitate unemployed youth to have job opportunities. Most youth searching for jobs have difficulties of going towards employees because they do not have the opportunity. Thereby, when we can find a means to exchange with them, we do not hesitate. Among the 1,000 youths present in the exchange, Mariama was fortunately among the 18 youths who got a job. Les jeunes, les jeunes cherchent d'emploi, ils ont du mal. I stayed for more than nine months without a job, but thanks to today's exchange, I got the opportunity of finding something to do. Une occasion pour les mettre ensemble, on le fait. This exchange held annually saw the participation of several administrative authorities, like the governor of the Adamawa region. Well, a young man whose identity is still to be determined has been found dead in one of the forests in Sang Melima. Family members associate his death to one of the churches he joined recently. This report with D. Morin. Panic, consternation and the fear of the known is still visible in Minkongo, a small village in Sang Melima. The discovery of the lifeless body of a 38-year-old man has left inhabitants in shock. Many continue to question the circumstances surrounding his death, which some have described as mystical. The 38-year-old man is a teacher at the Lone Technical School in the village. His neighbors claim the young teacher had joined a Pentecostal church and ever since then his attitude changed completely and suddenly he became mentally unbalanced. He was a good man. He used to stroll around the neighborhood. He used to teach at the government technical school. I would say he lost his brains. We used to call him teacher. We got the other and we thought a dog had died. But we discovered the contrary. Family members are still in shock. They are yet to trace the cause of his death. But disclosed, his attitude had changed of recent. Gaston Zom, his younger brother, blames the church for killing the brother. The state council, accompanied by other administrative authorities, were at the site to take stock of the situation. Investigations have been opened to know the records of his death. We now talk agriculture where some 77 farmer groups in the southwest region have received checks worth 374 million francs CFA donated by ASEFA. Farmers in those parts of the country have been urged to modernize production by using modern agriculture, agricultural tools. This report with Regina Leke. The fact that this caterpillar is at work does not mean Alliance Company has effectively started work to construct the 100 low-cost houses on this flank and in Tambang neighborhood in Bamenda 3 subdivision. In a bid to boost agricultural productivity in the southwest region, the program for the improvement of competitiveness of family agropastoral farms as SAFA has donated checks worth 374 million to some 77 farmers groups to enable them finance relevant group projects. Chairing the ceremony, the regional delegate of agriculture and rural development, Mr. Ekongwe Christopher, called on farmers to use the money given them to develop and modernize their production equipment and build agricultural infrastructures. I would like the farmers, as I said, in the, let them take their farming seriously. Whether you're a crop farmer, livestock farmer, or whatever, 
you have the money, the money you have is for you. Because they came up with the with projects. So they finance their projects. Then they make sure that they are very, very scrupulous, that they are very, very strict in managing their projects. If they do that, they will be succeeding. And when they as farmers succeed, it is a nation that is succeeding. The convention between the farmers and ASEFA provided the farmers' organization with counselors to help them in the economic and technical management of their farms as well as their productions. This convention we signed with the farmers is, first of all, to, it's an achievement for almost two or three years of working with those farmers. Because those farmers, they ask for advices. And we, we signed convention to make advice at their own disposal. Those advice I work with them, try to identify their difficulties, try to help you technically and to elaborate their, their project. After the elaboration of those projects, they submitted their project at the different technical unit who instructed those projects and submitted the project to the different commission selection. The major projects financed so far have been in the production of cocoa and pigs. The money provided the farmers' organizations will enable them to carry out other significant projects in agro-pastoral and fishery subsectors. Contractors constructing low-cost houses in the Northwest region have been given up to May 28 as deadline to complete work. Meet the Minister of Housing, Jean-Claude Buencho, gave this instruction while on a working visit in this part of the country. This report with Ambo Gladys. The fact that this caterpillar is at work does not mean Allianz Company has effectively started work to construct the 100 low-cost houses on this flank and in Tambang neighborhood in Bamenda 3 subdivision. The statement is from the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Jean-Claude Nguenchu, who has been to Bamenda over the weekend on an official visit. It is on this hill that the low-cost housing was proud, just next to the also awaited referral hospital. The minister has warned that the May 2018 deadline should be respected. The situation is the contrary of Antanshi in Bamenda 1, where the Chinese company contracted to build another cluster of 50 low-cost houses of T3 and T4 types has also finished work, but for some finishing touches. They have visited uh, the seat of construction of uh, 100. Uh, housing, social housing by, by Alliance Construction and 50 houses by uh, Chinese company. We have started, we have constated that uh, Alliance didn't start work, but uh, Chinese have finished. So we have a, a small uh, problem in uh, the, 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 the finishing and we have giving firm instruction to, uh, to do what they have to do because they are worried that this house must be used. That After going up and down and around one of the blocks, the minister has advised that all the finer touches, like the loose earth and hanging stones, be tidied up so that the area becomes livable accident free. Accompanied by his counterpart of state property, Sovis and land tenure, Jacqueline Kong Abesike and the Secretary of State for Housing and Urban Development, Marie Rose Dibong, went to hall a working session in the Governor's Conference Hall, during which he regretted that the recurrent ghost towns and school boycott in this part of the country were not helping its development. It was in 2008 that the Cameroonian and Chinese governments signed a protocol agreement to construct 1,500 low-cost houses in six towns in Cameroon, including Bamenda. Minister of Housing and Urban Development Jean-Claude Buencho was equally in the southwest region over the weekend where he urged contractors to accelerate work so that these houses can be ready by December this year. This report with Regina Leke. On instructions of the Prime Minister, the Ministers of Housing and Urban Development and the Minister of Housing and Surveys, Land Tenure and State Property, accompanied by the Secretary of State in charge of housing, on a one-day walking visit to the Southwest region, visited the low-cost housing sites in Munya, in Boya and at the middle farms in Limbe. 
The project in Boya for the construction of 100 low-cost houses is estimated to be at 25 percent progress rate. It should be noted that this project falls in line with President Paul Bia's three years emergency development plan aimed at boosting economic growth and youth employment. The Minister of Housing and Urban Development called on the contractors in Boya to accelerate work on the site so that houses can be ready by December 2017. And we have to give Felicitation to our governor and uh, uh, governor delegate of Limbe to this implementation and what they have done in the field. We have to say another word is that we have to be patient and to have a very good look of what the government is doing. While in Limbe, the minister expressed satisfaction for the quality of work done on the 50 low-cost houses. The minister congratulated the local administrative authorities for effortlessly ensuring the progress of work on the site and called on the mayor of Boya and the government delegate to Limbe City Council to judiciously take care of the infrastructures in their municipalities for it is a sign of government's determination to develop the region. We move to the East region where the town of Betwa will soon have a modern market. The Minister of Territorial Administration and Decentralization, while visiting the modern edifice under construction, expressed satisfaction. D. Morin reports. This is a main entrance to this modern market, a gift from the head of state. The Minister of Territorial Administration and Decentralization is on an inspection tour. At the site, he is evaluating works done so far by the military engineering corps. The execution rate stands at 90 percent, with construction works expected to be complete by December 2017. The director of the military engineering corps, Colonel Jackson Kamgeng, says he carried out construction with respect of international norms. To start with, there is a lot of space. A distance of five meters between buildings was respected. In the case of a fire outbreak, the flames could not encroach to another building, he emphasized. C'est le réseau euh, la Camerounaise des eaux. Nous avons également un système mix au niveau de, de l'énergie. The market is electrified with solar and hydro energy. Boreholes have equally been constructed to provide traders with portable water. There are sections to host the police pools and the firefighting unit. The edifice in Betwa is constructed on a 3.5 hectares of land, with a total of 27 buildings divided into 11 sections. We are face a, a realization formidable. We are extremely happy. We don't have such markets in other parts of Cameroon. Traders would use solar energy and normal electricity from NEO. Après 100 miles, c'est sans doute l'un des plus beaux que nous ayons. Traders have expressed happiness with hopes of seeing their businesses expand. While well, we end the news with this other international day celebrations as amphibians in Cameroon face the threat, the, the threat of extinction if nothing is done to remedy the situation. Conservationists celebrating World well Amphibian Day in Boya said protecting the species is of utmost importance. This report. At the mere look of these, people might think amphibians and frogs in particular are unessential creatures. But the uses of amphibians, according to conservators, ranges from local to the industrial levels. Frogs also serve other purposes. They are used in medicinal research, cures for cardiac diseases, cure for cancer. Frogs are used traditionally. They are a delicacy in some of the cultures, traditions like the Bacosi, like the Bose, like the Bowens. Frogs, especially the golden frog, 
It serves only to very special people. Though Cameroon hosts over 1,600 amphibians, mostly concentrated in Mount Lunako, in the Mongo Division, Kurupak and Mount Oko in the northwest, 6.2% of these amphibians have been classified on the red list, thereby facing threat of extinction. A situation experts say directly affects the ecosystem. In the next five years, as an organization, we are going, we are perceiving, we are anticipating that we are going to take some species, especially those of class A, out of the endangered list. Like, let's say the Goliath frog, through sensitization, because most people, they do the capture, like they don't know, they are not aware of the importance or the risks of what they are doing. Grace Manka, a researcher on amphibians in Cameroon, poses that Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea are the only two countries in the world that play host to Golia frogs, the biggest frog that exists and the thoughts they need to jealously protect this. World Amphibians Day was celebrated on the 29th of April with a single message for man to contribute in protecting the ecosystem. Cameroon Wildlife Law of December 2006 protects classes A, B and C amphibians with those in class A involving Golia frogs not to be killed at any circumstance. Well, it is on this note that we call it out for this edition of the news on Canal de English. Thanks for watching.